In a lawsuit filed by 10 parents of public school students with disabilities accusing education officials of violating the Adequate Education Act, only two remain in the fight after a Superior Court judge tossed the claims of eight others who later joined the case. Superior Court Judge Elise Iriarty noting the court had no other choice but to dismiss the eight additional plaintiffs, as students failed to first avail of an administrative review process required before filing a lawsuit against the Guam Department of Education by law. It's an outcome not sitting well with attorney Daniel Summerfleck of the Guam Legal Services Corporation Disability Law Center, who represents the parents and students in this case. He tells KUAM, quote, I'm disappointed. Still, the claims originally filed on behalf of two students, one from Ocean View Middle School and Agata Johnston Middle, remain intact and are scheduled for trial in November, as they succeeded in filing administrative claims. The parents of those students previously airing their grievances during a roundtable hearing on GDOE's Special Education Division last year at the Guam Legislature. In, in Ocean View, I know the concerns were the, the moles and the mildew uh, at the school. Uh, my son is, uh, is highly allergic to, uh, to dog and cat dander, moles, mildews. Court documents outline claims that a 12-year-old Ocean View Middle School student with cerebral palsy and asthma allegedly suffered respiratory issues due to mold exposure at their school. Another parent of one 13-year-old Agata Middle School student also claiming her child did not receive education from a certified teacher based on her illness and demands on 64 occasions. My daughter uh, is now 13 years old. She transitioned this year to middle school. It was a disaster, total disaster, to the point in which I actually had to move school and district because I was so desperate. And while their children's case moves forward, the court leaves the door open, stating that the remaining two students can't make claims on behalf of others with similar situations. This doesn't stop the court, however, from providing injunctive relief for future claims filed by other students.